we're going to run the scenario like the doctor is busy uh, seeing other patients and is uh, making his way to the hospital, but it's about 20 minutes out. This is a virtual training simulation at the Wabasca Demare Healthcare Center. The subject, neonatal resuscitation. In this scenario, a baby who was born in an ambulance started choking on some fluid and stopped breathing. So with the positive pressure ventilation, the heart is still remain 50. Before the pandemic, in-person training sessions were held at the hospital. We might go up three, four times a year for one, maybe two days. When the pandemic arrived, AHS trainers were no longer allowed to do in-person training. But the nursing team here urgently needed training in what is called protected intubation. In other words, performing an intubation on an infected patient in a way that the coronavirus is not passed on to the nurse. We jerry things, we MacGyver things, you know, because it just works. Led by the technical ingenuity of the assistant head nurse, they found a way. He strung together a cell phone camera, a webcam, a Bluetooth speaker, and a laptop. And through Zoom, he was able to bring virtual training to Wabasca for the first time. One advantage of virtual training is that your instructors can be anywhere in the world. Dr. Sharon Reese, former community medical director for the Wabasca Demare Healthcare Center, appeared via Zoom from the University of Arkansas, where she is an assistant professor. So we were able to design a simulation and design an approach to teach protected intubations to the Wabasca nursing team and the Wabasca physicians and EMS personnel in a safe way that was all facilitated virtually. And to the best of our knowledge, that has never been done before. The training prepared the nursing team for the arrival of patients infected with the coronavirus. Three, two, three, three, two, three. You feel more comfortable after you go through all these scenarios when the event actually happens. It's a little bit of confidence, like, hey, when we get COVID, we know we're going to be protected, number one, and two, we know how to respond. Little did they know how influential their innovation would become. And after we did that in Wabasca, we thought that since we were all virtual, we could actually do this in other communities as well. So we started doing this all over rural Alberta, and the interest grew, and soon we were doing this um, virtual facilitated simulation method in Northwest Territories, in Saskatchewan, and Ontario. In Wabasca, it's not uncommon to see a bald eagle eating his breakfast as you drive to work. Wabasca is the Cree word for the long green grass with white on the backside that grows along the Wabasca River. It's a remote community, three and a half hours north of Edmonton, on a highway that goes no further. About 3,700 people live in the area, and that includes the Big Stone Cree Nation. There used to be two separate hamlets here, Demere on South Wabasca Lake and Wabasca on North Wabasca Lake. But both grew to the point where they merged together. Now, most refer to the community as just Wabasca. There's still a wildness to the land here. It's a paradise for hunting, fishing, boating, and even golfing. Other than a love for the outdoors, what kind of nurse would enjoy practicing here? Few of them are adrenaline junkies. They kind of like that thing. It's real diverse from ER to inpatient. It's lumps and bumps to heart attacks, to gunshot wounds, to knife wounds, to motor vehicle accidents. You never know what's gonna come in the door. So we tend to attract ones that like that diversity. So you kind of have to have like, you know, mix, like, you know, a little bit of calmness, but deep inside, like, you're panicking, but you do know what to do, right, at that point. That's why we're doing all of this, right? So we train ourselves to be in that stressful situation, so when time comes, we're not be guessing. And you're here to save a life, and hopefully, and do the best you can. <laughs> <laughs> and don't hold back on having some fun while you're at it. Like the patient in a training session who is simulating a mom hemorrhaging after giving birth. She had uh, smeared cherry pie filling all over the bottom to look like she was bleeding and hemorrhaging after delivery of the baby. People turned around and were shocked when they saw this bright red chunky stuff on the bed. So we always joked, we're like, you could probably eat it. And she was like, I did do that to one of the staff members. Congratulations to the Wabasca Demare Healthcare Center nursing team. 
recipients of an RPAP Rhapsody Healthcare Heroes Award. I think it's a real testament to the strength of the nursing team in Wabasca, uh, their heart for their work and their passion and teamwork to be willing to embrace change in a time that was so uncertain. They've done above and beyond what you would find a lot of people would end up doing in that type of situation and they remain calm and professional and they got things done. Just really wanted to celebrate this remarkable team who just has really inspired a lot of our rural north. Nice to get this award for because of all the hard work we've done. I am so proud of our nurses. They are a blessing in disguise and angels in my heart. Thank you.